here we have Star Wars Legends Red Harvest. If you love zombies, this is the book to read. I personally am not the biggest fan of zombies. I used to be as like when I was younger, but now that I get older, I, I've already ran out of my zombie phase. It was a good book. The storyline was good. It was very, like a lot of plot twist inside this book. If you like zombies, I highly recommend you reading this book. The next book after this is the Old Republic series again. This is in between the Old Republic series. This is after Star Wars Legends, the Old Republic Deceived. And if you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you go wa like watch it. I post the stories in order from the timeline order of the Star Wars Legends. I post them in order. So I would recommend when you read them in order, I recommend you watch the reviews in order. Because in my opinion, if you read a series, if you read something that has a timeline order, you should read them in timeline order, just like you want to watch them in timeline order. If it's movies, you don't want to jump back and forth and be like in the beginning of it or the end of it and like be jumping back and forth in a timeline order. If you're not a Star Wars fan and not checking out this video, thank you for watching the video. If you're not a Star Wars fan, I would highly suggest if you're looking into getting into Star Wars, watch the movies, watch the watch the movies, watch the TV shows, and the best TV show that Star Wars, in my opinion, is honestly the Star Wars Clone Wars. It's a lot of episodes, it's like seven seasons, I think, but I highly recommend you watch it if you're looking into getting Star Wars. And if you're a book lover, the Star Wars books are amazing. If you love books, you should read the Star Wars books. They're amazing, I love them, I enjoy them. And if you like zombies and you're not even a Star Wars fan, I bet you enjoy this book, not even just because of Star Wars, but about the, like the zombie and the, the build up to what happens and everything. It's an amazing book. It's a lot of twist in the storyline. I would honestly, in my opinion, rate this a six out of 10. Like I said, I'm not the hugest fan of zombies. So this book is based off before uh, Star Wars Phantom Menace even takes place. Like I said, read them in order. Just cause you like the like first movie in the timeline order is Phantom Menace doesn't mean you could just start reading the books from Phantom Menace back. I honestly think you should start before the Phantom Menace because you get to know the Jedi, you get to know the Sith and all of their beliefs and what draws down to them believing what they do and how they act and how they respond to each other inside of the movies and inside of the TV shows that they've made. This book right here, there's a Sith Lord called Darth Scabrous. He's insane, honestly. He is obsessed with becoming immortal. He'll kill people, he will do whatever he has to do to achieve his goal of becoming immortal, which is never a good thing for anyone, not even just a Sith, anyone that would stop at nothing, hurting people, killing people, that's never a good thing. But in this book, it, like, he goes, it goes in detail why he's that way, what he does, like, try to become immortal, all of his plans and everything. He's a very twisted individual. And of course, most Siths are very twisted people, but Darth Scabrous is very, very twisted. I have all the books I've read and all the Star Wars characters I do know. I can't even compare him to somebody, honestly, because I love the, like, the Star Wars movies and I've watched all the TV shows and stuff, but no one reminds me of Darth Scabrous. There are some Star Wars characters that you get like a vibe off of that kind of remind you of other Star Wars character. Like the last book, Star Wars Deceived, Darth Maugus reminded me so much of Darth Vader. They had so much in common. I made an actual video after reading that book of how much they do have in common because it's insane how much they have in common. So I made a video just off of that really and truly because I love when Star Wars or any but book series have characters like that and want to start another series afterwards and like you get like vibes off of like old characters or like they have old characters in it. That way you get more of like a resemblance of characters and you get to like respond and connect the characters more because I was a huge Darth Vader fan. So reading that Star Wars book, I, I was a huge Darth Maulis fan because it reminded me of Darth Vader. And in this book, Darth Scabrous reminds me of no one in the Star Wars like era or any of the movies or TV shows. So it was, it was off really and truly because I've never read about somebody who thinks and everything. I've never read somebody that's like him. So it was a different for me. It was, it was a fun read just because I'm not the biggest stuff like a Zombies fan. If I was a Zombies fan, I'd rate this a lot higher. And with that being said, I hope everybody has a great day. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below if you've read this book, what you think about this book. And let me know in the comments if you do buy it. Also in the comments, let me know who your favorite Star Wars characters are. If you have read the books, what your favorite Star Wars book is. And give me suggestions on what books I should read outside of Star Wars if y'all want to as well. I love books. As you can see, me and my wife have uh, like 700 something books. We love books. We love to read. So if you got book suggestions, comment down below and let us know. 
And as you can see right here, I have three lightsabers now. I have a Darth Maul lightsaber, I have like a Katana style lightsaber, and I have a, it's called the Mandalorian lightsaber on the website. It's not the dark saber, but it's called the Mandalorian lightsaber because it's got like the Mandalorian like mask. I have an affiliate link for end sabers. I'll leave down in the description as well. If you want to get a lightsaber, you can save 7% off using my code. This right here, the Darth Maul lightsaber is my favorite lightsaber really and truly. Even in the movies, I've I've loved his lightsaber. I love the double-sided look, and I love how you can make it different colors on each side of it as well. I love the sound effects for it. If you haven't seen this one yet, make sure to go check out. I posted a, like a long video of like, this this making the sound effects and everything. I posted shorts about it. So make sure to go check those out if you want to see. I've also posted shorts about both of these as well. So if you'd like to see those, make sure to go check those out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And with that being said, stay tuned. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.